So next up I got another foundation because I'm very much into foundation and I got the Naked Skin foundation in the shade 3 um, and I've been trying this one out a few times already. It's very natural which I really like for my days where I don't want to do too much makeup but I still need yeah. something. So this is, I really, really like this one. I still need to try it out a little bit more because I think the shade might be too light on me. Um, now looking at it in a different light, but we'll see because this foundation is really, really beautiful on the skin and it just, it just like glides onto your skin so nice. It's exactly like the concealer. That consistency is just amazing. So I love this foundation a lot. Just need to change the shade. So the next thing that I decided to get was the Benefit Rocketeur um, blush, which I I haven't tried this out as much, but the color is so beautiful. I don't think the camera will pick it up too much, but it's kind of like a pinkish, um, like a rosy, yeah, like a rosy gold blush. I haven't used it as much as I wanted to, but we're still <laughs> testing it out, and it smells good. And then, um, aside from that one, I decided also to pick up the Hourglass, um... Excuse you! Road! <laughs> Look who's calling! Maybe they're done. Mother. So the second blush that I decided to pick up was the Hourglass Ambient Blushes in the color Mood Exposure, and it is such a pretty color. Look at this. It kind of reminds me of um, Breath of Plum from MAC uh -huh. because it's kind of like a plummy color and it's still radiant. It I have it on my cheeks right now and I love it. It looks so pretty. It's very natural. I don't cake it on. I just take like a fluffy brush and I just put it on my cheeks and it looks so beautiful. But just one of many more that I want. Another one I want. Yeah. <laughs> I'll move back in so yeah. we can share. This, this this is our biggest uh, dilemma. We can never share makeup anymore. It has to be very strategic. It has to be scheduled. Yeah. Like, okay, I'll bring this stuff over. Okay, I'm gonna take this stuff over. Sometimes I'll go in there and be like, yeah, I wonder where's my my whatever, my lipstick or something. It's most probably in my house. Yeah. So I've decided I'm gonna move back in just so we can share our makeup. <laughs> Next up, I got a few things from Makeup Forever, and I got two primers. Um, I'm not keeping both of them, but I tried to decide which one is the better one. I got one that is for redness, and it is number five, and it's like the green tube. Mm -hmm. And then I got number four, which is just a nourishing primer for like normal to dry skin. Once again, I do have like dry and dehydrated skin, so I'm trying these both out. And a lot of people say they like them, so I wanted to see if they actually worked with me and worked with the foundation. And ow! I did not hit you that hard. Calm down. <laughs> Continue. So I also got the Makeup Forever HD Powder and this is supposed to be like for um, setting your makeup. I'm, I wanted to use it for like baking, but my friend- it's kind of expensive. My friend recently told me that it gives off like a white cast like oh, in pictures cast. yeah oh, okay. so i'm probably going to be returning this and just getting something else i need to go look for a different one i guess mm -hmm. but that's one i got i don't know if it'll be good for like just setting your makeup mm -hmm. not sure yeah like a thin layer instead of just like kicking it yeah on. yeah next thing i went crazy over was the anastasia liquid lipsticks i haven't been able to keep up with all the seasons that have been coming um She's been coming out with like every season different lipsticks and I just can't keep up. There's just too many. So I decided, okay, this is the time to go in there head first and just get whatever. Just get it all and just test it out. And I picked up a couple different colors that I loved. And the first one was Dusty Rose, which is like a pinkish color. I got Trust Issues, which is a, it's like a dark purpley yeah it's like a dark purple color super super fall and then the other one was veronica which i wore the other day and everyone loved it it was like a like a mauve gray it does not look the same like on the tube than it does on the lips but i loved it that was one of my favorite ones then i got allison which is more of a 
oh yeah, Allison is a limited edition holiday uh, liquid lipstick that came out, which I didn't even know. I just saw it there and I picked it up. But it's it's like a pinkish mauve. This Veronica is a grayish mauve, and this is like a pinkish mauve. And then I got Catherine, which is like a burnt um, red, and so we'll have to test those out. But I just did. I love liquid lipsticks. So next up, I got a primer from Becca, and it is the Backlight Priming Filter. I want to try that so bad. And I'm actually wearing it right now, and I'm not sure. Do you like it? I like it. I think it makes your skin look pretty luminous. Right? I mean, I got a whole bunch of glow going on. <laughs> but yeah, like when I tried it on, it was really beautiful. It did have a certain luminosity to the primer, and I can't wait to try this out a little bit more. I don't feel like one time I could decide. But I've been wanting to try this one out. Becca is one of my favorite, like, brands for highlights. I think their highlighters are just gorgeous. They're so and finely milled. Like, it doesn't look, like, chunky on your skin. It just looks like you're glowing. With that being said, I got the Glow on the Go set for Moonstone. Moonstone is actually the, the highlight I've been dying to get. And it also comes with like a little like liquid highlighter as well for Moonstone and I think pairing liquid highlights and like powder highlights together just makes you get that glow on fleek like it just it just makes your glow pop so much. I love You'll be it. Popping from spice high. I love it. So loving, <laughs> loving both of these products. I can't wait to try them more. So continuing on with liquid lipsticks, I saw this as we were exiting, making our way into the line. You know, they have all the little samples or whatever. I saw that Kat Von D had bow and arrow with her liquid liner as a set together, and I had wanted to actually pick a bow and arrow which I'm wearing it today and I really do like it. I like it a lot. And I had wanted to pick it up full size, but they were sold out, of course. So I saw this and I was like, I'm getting it. I don't care that it's tiny, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Just to try it out. And I really like it. And it brings the little um, felt tip liner, which you really like this. Yeah. So I'm, I'm dying to try this out. So for some palettes, I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Master Palette by Mario. Uh, yes, <laughs> by Kim K's beauty makeup artist. And to be honest, I was really debating whether to get this because you know everybody was saying it has so many shimmers, it only has three mattes, blah blah blah. But I kept thinking about it, kept looking at it, and I just I can't. You get kept. It. Looking at it, it's because you wanted it, so yeah. So given and indulged, treateth thyself. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, pretty, it's gorgeous. That, that is, is a really pretty palette, though. I'm not gonna lie. It, I love it even more because it has my name in it. <laughs> so special. And it's black. It's not black. It's blue. Yeah, it is a pretty, a pretty a palette. You, it's a mess. Uh-huh. It's used? What do you mean? This, the brush is used! No, it's not. Doesn't that look used to you? Oh, no, that's not used. That's just the bristles. Huh? That's just the bristles. They're brown? Yeah, they're brown. Oh, okay. Because usually the, the, the dual one is like white at the tip. Okie dokie. Yeah, I was about to have a little heart attack. <laughs> Yeah, you know when you go shopping for makeup at Sephora, you get paranoid because, yeah, you buy stuff, you try it out, and if you don't like it, you can return it. So you always think, like, I wonder if they put stuff that people have used back on the shelves, which they don't, but you always pick, like, the last box or the last <laughs> second to last box just to make sure you I check the corner, you open it up, you look and see. I always do that. We're paranoid. So I also got the Moonchild palette, highlighting palette from Anastasia so and it's, it's a pretty like extravagant colored palette. Um, it's full of like purples and just crit colors like that but oh, very yeah, translucent. Yeah. Very translucent. Um, it's like iridescent. like what's, Aurora what's Borealis on your face. 
That's uh, what it looks like. What's a holographic? I feel like it's very like holographic. Like if you see like the moon child here, yeah. it's like shiny. It holographic. shines like green, yellow, blue. You know, in the light you can see it, but like on your face you don't, you can't tell. Yeah, it's not like a green strip right yeah. here, or a purple strip. It's it's very like she said, holographic. To me, it's like very translucent. I'm telling you that little like sample aisle right through to the cashier is the worst, but they do that. It's a marketing ploy, everyone knows. But they get you every time because I saw that they had a Stila Trio liquid lipstick set and I had been wanting to try Patina for so long, but every time I go, I just get sidetracked by something else and I'm just like, ah, I'll take it, I'll get that later. So I saw that they had the trio there. They had patina, um, they have like another light pink, and they have like a brownie color. I got something that most people have, but I've never been able to get it, and it is the Urban Decay Naked Basics, the first one that they came out with. I have the second one, but I'm gonna I get the- have the first one. I have it, it's in my bathroom, okay? It's in my You see her dilemma? Bin. You see? It's mine. <laughs> so I got the Naked Basics one, and I wanted to try this out. I've never gotten any of the Naked palettes. Don't really like the consistency of it. Um, I prefer Anastasia over anybody. Um, but I was going to try it out. See if I like it because it's just, it's so tiny, it's perfect for traveling mm -hmm. and I feel like I'm going to be traveling a lot. So I'm going to get this for that. Do it. Aspirations, you know. <laughs> Let's end this whole liquid lipstick fiasco. End it already, my Let's God. just end it now <laughs> with the last one that I got, which was from Buxom. I had seen a couple YouTubers uh, talk about um, Buxom's liquid lipsticks. So I gave it a try, of course. And this one is in the color Nudist. And it's actually like a lip plumping liquid lipstick. And the color is so pretty. I cannot wait to try it. Yeah. Because it's like it a looks very pale, like pale. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I don't know. It's kind of it looks weird. Well, this is the last thing from Sephora, and I got the Kat Von D contour um, brush. brush. Dual brush. And you guys know I love my contour. I love my shade and light palette contour kit. I love it. By the way, Kat Von D came out with a new palette. Finally, I don't know why she didn't do it the first time. It is a like magnetic palette, and it's like plastic, hard plastic, or I don't know what, and you can now refill the palette or fill it up with your entire shade that you like. Like, I would just get the- Oh my god! <laughs> like three of the brown that you yeah. like and three of the yellow. Exactly. That's what I would get because I love it. I'm running out. Anybody want to get me one? A new one? Yeah? Yeah? Um, anyways. <laughs> so I got this one and I haven't even opened it up because I don't want to rip the box but it's so soft and I can't wait to start yeah. trying it. It's like the dome shape and then the angled shape. Yeah, brush. so I really hope I like them. I've seen her videos that she did um, using this brush and she just does an amazing job. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait to try this out and see if I like it. I hope I do. No. Last little thing that I got, of course, on the aisle, the checkout aisle, <laughs> where they just get to. I got, I, I had been wanting to try um, Deborah Lipman nail polishes, and if you know me, you know that I do my nails every single week. I do them myself, hands and feet. So I wanted to give it a try, and the red that I saw there uh, had sold out in the full size. So as I'm walking, I'm making my way out, about to pay, and I saw that they had little sets like this. 
um, with the red that I had actually wanted and then it brings the um, like a glittery clear shade and I thought it was so pretty I love reds I'm wearing red right now so this is like a darker red though which I love and it was only $17 which a full-size nail polish of hers is $18 so to get two I thought that was a good deal well moving on from Sephora I stopped by Mac because I had you know six empties and just in case you didn't know if you have six empty MAC products and you can get one free lipstick or a lip liner depending on the store mm -hmm. and so I got my most favorite <laughs> lipstick Velvet Teddy which I'm wearing right now and this is my favorite lipstick like of all time from MAC it's the perfect nude for me and I use it like almost every single day mm -hmm. And then I also got Whirl because I had lost it in a video, like a few videos back I mentioned that I lost it. I still haven't found it. I have no idea where it is. You're going through no withdrawals. Idea. Yeah. So I needed it back because, you know, the fall time is coming around and I've been trying to reach for something, some type of nude, and I can't find a nude. A dark so nude and... A matte dark nude that isn't drying for my lips and that's Whirl. So. If you want to try something new, try Whirl. So Kohl's sells like makeup products and we had like a Kohl's cash and you know you gotta get take advantage of those deals. Mm -hmm. So I decided to get the Lorac Pro 3 palette and it comes with the primer which I actually really like. I think it, like the primer and the, these eyeshadows go really good together um, and these are kind of like rose gold type um, like the bottom layer comes with rose gold types and then the top layer is more like neutrals nude neutrals it's like the perfect combo it's it's really such a gorgeous palette it is I have not opened it yet but it's so amazing like if you guys want a look with this of course thumbs up Sephora normally carries um, this perfume but they I think that they were sold out or they just stopped selling it but I found it at Macy's and it's the flower bomb La Vie and Rose oh my god that scared the crap out of me I thought that was an animal really yeah sometimes <laughs> I was like <laughs> flower bomb La Vie and Rose is a it's a special edition scent and I remember when I smelled it hmm it's so mm. good. Like you could smell flower bomb in it, but there's like I, I, I don't know what else they put in it, but it is delicious. Yeah. And then the next one I want to get is bomb bomb. Mm. It smells so good. It's more like caramelly. Mm. <laughs> all right. That's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I should just put like the pig, you know. Did it, 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 was almost. <laughs> yeah, that. So that concludes our Sephora VIB haul. You should have grabbed a coffee, man. Uh, we should have said that. We could say it at the end. Like, like a little, little intro. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So that is it for our VIB Sephora sale haul. And I know it was a pretty long one, but I hope it gave you inspiration to what to get later. <laughs> Products to test, try out, and when the next Sephora VIB sale comes around, you could kind of get an idea of what to try. And you know, if you have our skin type, our skincare um, that we recommend. But yeah, you did pretty good. I don't think it was too bad. All things considered, yeah. So I really hope you guys liked it. If you want more sister videos, then please thumbs it up and let me know in a comment below what you guys will be getting or what you guys did get at the Sephora VIP <laughs> sale. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> and if you like any of these products, if you've tried any of these products, and <laughs> I'm just doing it to see if she'll do it. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. You know, there's videos every, every week. week. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you guys have a great day. And I will talk to you guys later in my next one. Bye! Bye, guys. <gasps>
Ok. No se me va la musa.